हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम बैक आई एम दिशा एंड आई एम हियर टू हेल्प यू ट्रांसफॉर्म योर हाउस इन टू अ होम समाइम अगो आई शेयर अ वीडियो ऑन थ्री फेब्रिक पेंटिंग टेक्निक्स एंड यू लव इट सो मच इन केस यू हैवेंट वॉच इट येट हेयर्स द लिंक सो आफ्टर दैट आई हैव बीन रिसीविंग रिक्वेस्ट टू शेयर अ वीडियो ऑन पॉट पेंटिंग टेक्निक्स सो टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट हाउ टू पेंट अ पॉट एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट आई एम शेयरिंग फाइव pot painting techniques so without further ado let's dive right into the video so first step is select your paint what kind of paint will be suitable for your pot so first thing is if the pot is of plastic then acrylic or enamel paint would be a great choice so these two kind of paints give glossy finish and uh, if your pots are uh, made of terracotta or uh, clay then uh, you can choose either acrylic or uh, enamel paint for glossy finish and plastic emulsion paint for matte finish now i'll share some basic steps of painting a pot so first is wash it nicely wash the pot nicely so that there is no grease or dust and then let it dry after that if the pot is made of plastic or terracotta then no need to sand it but if it is of clay and and if the surface is uneven then you should sand the surface using sandpaper and then wipe it off next step is prime it pot can be primed using white paint if you are using acrylic colors then use white acrylic paint and if you are using enamel paint then use white enamel color and if you are using plastic emulsion paint then white plastic emulsion color will do the job and once it is dried let's move on to the second step which is giving it a color so first technique is paint it in any vibrant color so i like this technique very much because whenever color fades or paint just chips off then all you need to do is just give it a fresh coat of paint and it will be new once again now second technique is paint any design or pattern on the pot and for that i have so many ideas like you can draw henna pattern or you can draw mandala dot art or just draw any free hand design like these ones or you can paint any folk art or you can just stencil it there are lots of creative ideas now i am sharing the most requested anthropology inspired planters so i have already primed the pot and now i am painting it i am using red acrylic color and once the color was dried i made patterns on it using pencil and then just filled white color then i just left it to dry at least for 2 hours and after that i gave it a coat of varnish so that my work is protected and you can see this side it doesn't look glossy whereas the this side is glossy and similarly i painted this tiny pot Thank you. 
now moving on to the third technique which is spray painting for spray painting i drew a pattern on a piece of paper like this and then i just cut it out using craft knife Here I am using color gradation method of painting and uh, using water I will just stick the cut out on the pot and for spray painting color should be really really thin so I just mix some water in acrylic color and using toothbrush I spread the color like this. Spray it gently until the surface is covered and then remove the cutout carefully and repeat the steps. After Using it 2-3 times, the cutout will become soggy. So you should make at least 5-6 cutouts well in advance. And this is the second method of a spray painting. For this you will need a ball full of water, some nail pens, tool or a stick to spread the color and of course a pot. And things to remember here are water should be lukewarm and just make sure that nail pens are not dry. So this is the easiest technique just place your pot upside down and start dripping the color you can use as many colors you want or just use one color it's totally up to you and uh, i'll suggest you to use a pot that has even surface mine has some ridges so color just smudged there but still it's looking beautiful So once all your pots are ready, just give them a coat of varnish. It will work as a fixative. So your work will be protected and uh, colors won't fade away easily and uh, water will not ruin it. But if you're aiming for matte finish, then I won't suggest you to use varnish because it will give, it a, it will give your pot a glossy look. So avoid this step. 
and I'll give you one more bonus technique which is already available on my blog I couldn't find crackle medium so I can't share it here in my video but uh, you can obviously hop on to my blog and check it out I have added the link in description and uh, also there are links to buy all the pr products that I used in this video in description box so don't forget to check out so I really hope that this video gave you some ideas to give a new fresh look to your pots and if you have some other ideas then don't forget to share in comment box below and I'm talking about painting techniques. That's all for today. I'll see you soon in my next video. Till then, wish you all love, luck and sunshine. Bye-bye.